This flying car can land anywhere, even on your roof. Today, we're diving into an exciting new development in urban transportation, a compact flying vehicle that could change how we get around cities. Let's take a closer look at what makes this flying car so revolutionary. Welcome to the channel. Think of a vehicle that's 11.5 meters long, 11.3 meters wide, and 3 meters tall, small enough to land on rooftop pads or other tight spaces. That's the SkyDrive, an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It's powered by 12 motors and rotors with room for one pilot and two passengers. And there's more in store. Future upgrades will include autonomous flying features and seating for up to three passengers. With a max takeoff weight of 1,400 kilograms, the Sky Drive is built for quick, short urban trips. Its top cruising speed is 100 kilometers per hour, or 54 knots, making it perfect for zipping through crowded cityscapes. At the core of the Sky Drive is its battery system, which uses electric vehicle technology already on the market. Right now, the battery's power flights up to 15 kilometers, or 9 miles, but that's just the beginning. As battery energy densities improve from today's 200 kilowatt hour per kilogram to 500 kilowatt hour per kilogram in the coming years, the aircraft's range will grow to 40 kilometers or 25 miles or more. The design is also built for upgrades. The SkyDrive's modular system allows batteries or motors to be easily swapped out as technology gets better. Chief Development Officer Arno Coville explains that by using innovations from the automotive industry, SkyDrive can keep costs down while improving performance. Automakers are already driving battery makers to create higher performing products at lower costs, and SkyDrive is set to benefit directly from these advancements. Why doesn't the SkyDrive aim for high speeds? Well, its multi-copter design prioritizes efficiency for hovering and short urban trips instead of competing with tilting rotor aircraft that can hit 200 to 250 kilometers per hour. This slower approach makes sense. It's perfect for landing in tight spaces and handling precise vertical takeoffs and landings. The compact size and focus on hovering also make regulatory approval easier. Unlike tilting rotor designs, the SkyDrive aligns more closely with existing helicopter certification standards, saving both time and money. Coville highlights that this streamlined design is a win for both safety and practicality. With over 75% of the world's population living in cities, urban congestion keeps getting worse. SkyDrive offers a way to rise above it all, literally, by providing short flights over crowded streets. In Tokyo alone, there are 7 million subway rides and 35,000 taxi trips every day. Even if just a small number of people choose EV tolls, the potential market is huge. Tourism is another big opportunity. Helicopter rides over places like Manhattan or the Grand Canyon are already popular, but EV tolls like the SkyDrive could make these experiences quieter, more affordable, and easier to access. For instance, a six-minute aerial tour of Tokyo could cost just 10,000 yen, offering an exciting new way to explore the city. SkyDrive isn't just focusing on the tech, it's also counting on political support to help make this a reality. Cities like Paris, Rome, Singapore, Chicago, New York, and Tokyo are already showing interest in urban air mobility, or UAM. In Japan, for example, cutting down on car use and reducing road congestion is a national priority. A recent report from the Royal Aeronautical Society highlighted how Japan sees UAM as a key solution to its overloaded transportation networks. Koval points out that cities are the first major market for EV tolls because they have the infrastructure and political backing to make them happen. Inner city travel, like routes between Osaka and Nagoya, will take longer to develop due to more complicated regulations and fewer political advocates. Multicopters like the SkyDrive are perfect for short urban and tourist flights. Whether it's a quick ride across town or a scenic tour, their ability to land almost anywhere makes them incredibly versatile. Plus, because they run on electricity, they're quieter and more eco-friendly than traditional helicopters. With cities around the world supporting the push for EV tolls and a market eager for efficient air travel, the SkyDrive is ready to take off. Whether you're commuting or getting a bird's eye view of your city, this flying car could soon be a regular part of life. What are your thoughts on the SkyDrive EV toll? Could this compact flying car be the solution to urban congestion? Let us know in the comments below.